Right then guys, so now we're getting very very close to water meadow to the point of now it's time to start air drying beer. Now I wanted to show you this but because I've been banging on about the, the three different uh, um, breakdown times that I've got in this shit. The three different break time down times I've got in the new base mix I've done. Now we're, um, it's, it's all keyed around the uh, winter fishing. The, the break, the, the two, the well one of them is keyed around winter fishing. The other one is, uh, the other two are, are, are out, out and out, you can use them at any time of year. But this one, but, but you, there's no reason that you just break, just break down faster in spring, it'd be, it'd be ideal. So this this one now is is the this one's made with a a, a, a pellet, but a, a fast breakdown winter pellet. Now I asked my uncle's a match fisherman and he's a, he's a good one as well. You know what I mean? He ain't, don't mess about. He's a good fisherman. He's a match fisherman. So I asked him what pellet he uses in winter, and he put me onto onto a, a pellet that. Are, um, it's got no oil content at all and it breaks down really, really fast. So uh, I looked for a company that supplied that pellet and I got a crumb of it. That's what's in that. That breaks down a lot faster. This one breaks down faster. Hence the difference in the colour. It's, it's, uh, uh, the, the difference is, is a uh, pellet, pellet based, peanut based. Now these, these are, are, um, are the ones I've used all the way through spring, I've used the ones I've used all the way through summer. They're a deadly bait. It's a pineapple and butyric, exactly the same. They're both pineapple and butyric. They've both got the exact same flavours in and the exact same attraction, apart from this has got fish meal, which don't forget guys, we're going to be fishing over pellet. And then these, these, are, these are made with peanut. Peanut, tiger nut and uh, coconut. So, and these are 14 millimetre barrels. These will also break down a little bit faster than these. But these are the 14s and 16, uh, 14s and 16 barrels with a few 12s in. They're in mixing sizes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, these have just been out of freezer by the way guys, just ride a little bit. Still a bit glistening. Diamonds in the snow. Um, so what we're gonna do with them is we're gonna we're gonna mix them. And then we're going to ship them, ship them up into bags, and they're uh, sealed bags up once they're air dried, and then they're going with Santa Caravan because we're going, like I said, we're going down there um, on tomorrow, on uh, Saturday morning. We're going down Saturday morning, so we're going down. We're going down mainly to photograph seals and what else we can, whatever we else we can find. Knowing Richard because he's got the photography bug big time and. I never want to shy away from a picture of a, a wild animal. I love, I love that just as much as fishing. So we'll do this. Now the other ones, this I've got a bit of a conundrum with this, is because I was all set for taking pineapple at uh, the the KBS down there, right? I was all set for taking KBS down there, but now I've rolled this. I'm unsure because. The KBS is rolled with with a, a pellet that's got a fairly high oil content. Now the weather temperatures they ain't that bad at the minute. To be honest with you, they're not that bad, so I can't see it being a major factor in in us not having anything. For the point of as well, we're fishing it in crumb. Don't forget, it's going to be in crumb form. We just the odd old bit. Now I've got a funny feeling, guys, that this. This is going to be absolutely deadly. I really do want to say it absolutely. It smells beautiful. You smell liver in there. To the point of you could, I, I don't know if it's just me, but I can smell I, I can smell the iron in liver. Do you know I hate liver. I absolutely hate liver. Well, I was forced to eat it as a kid and I bloody hate the stuff. Liver and onions. I can't stand it. Horrible thing. That fucking animal likes eating that shit. It's, I think it's one of the reasons I don't eat meat now because I, I just don't like anything like that to do mince meat or all to do with meat. But I've got a funny feeling with these, and I, I, I'm not joking to you now. Just looking at them in my hand, they're coming with me. They're coming instead at KBS, hundred percent. They're coming instead at KBS. They're going to do the business, guys. I know they are. Honestly, they're going to do the business. There's, there's all sorts in there. 
it's it's an eye liver bait which is deadly in in in, their, um, in winter as you all know if you've been fishing a while you all know that what liver's like in winter liver's absolutely deadly now they're a mixture of 12 millimeter 16 millimeter which are um i'll see if i can find one we've got 16 millimeter and then we've got some 12s we've also got not 12s 14s so we've got a mixture of two baits uh, there which is and it does look nice so i've, I've got fun. i think this is going to be coming with me but i ain't going to crumb it while i get down there what i might do is play it by ear and if if if, if you see we're we're a bit stuck for space it's it's a difficult one we're a little bit stuck for space now if if we get to the point where where we're going to be really stuck for space then we've cut all this kit back and everything i mean there's no good taking in stuff what 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 we when we don't need it's no good taking 49 million liters of, of, of gas and water if we're not going to use all that it's so richard's taking that uh, is he's got a bigger uh, drum with top water so not back and forth with water so he's just going to take water and we're going to do it like we used to do it on our uh, mozzie we're going to split the shit between us but it's um it is definitely going to be interesting to see to see what happens because i've got a funny feeling guys there's going to be a big fish on cards and that that is pretty much um it's been been my my way of thinking from the off is there's going to be a big fish on cards for one of us now richard's going to be fishing from a bait boat now the bait boat he uses it's got like a gps um gps set thing on it where it, it, it just presses a button and it goes back to the exact same spot continually so it's continually spot doing the same spot totally different approach to me i like a spread a bit i like them to, i like them moving i'd fit they're easy they're easier to catch if a fish is moving if a fish is going down picking one bait up comes up for that and then has to move to another spot they're easier to catch it it's either going to come in contact with with your rig faster and, and you're gonna hook them faster. It's if you, all the baits landing in a pile, fair enough, it's lovely, nice, tight baiting, but to me, the fish is just doing this, and it is far easier for the fish to suck that bait in and blow it back out again, and then just avoid that bait. And honestly, it, if you watch underwater footage and the tight baiting, they avoid that spot like the plague once they have picked that hook up. So it's the reason I don't like bait boats, but eventually they will forget. They're not as wise as everyone makes that. They don't go to university during They're not a very clever animal, otherwise they would never get caught at all. But the thing is this, bait boats do very well on there. So if used correctly, if used correctly, they do do very well on there. So it could be Richard that has a big one because he does use a bait boat rightly. He's been using one for a very long time now and, and he knows how to use it. So there's, there's, there could be a big fish on cards, and I think if one does fall, it may be to Richard to that bait boat, to be perfectly honest with you. I hope not, I hope it's me, but I'm not bothered with the water. If, if Richard has a 40 pound, I'd be as happy as if I had it. And I'm serious when I say that guy, they ain't that kind of guy. You know what I mean? It's If someone has a fish, I'm as happy for them to have that fish as if I caught it myself. And ask anyone who fishes with me, I am right happy when they have a big one. You know what I mean? It's And the grief I've got over years of people for saying I don't do this and I don't do that. It's, if anyone that fishes with me will know, no, I'm not like that at all. I share whatever information I've got, whatever, whatever I've got. The only thing I've ever read in my fishing is the spots I fish and, I f and this I didn't share for near enough 12 years. <laughs> 12 years. Honestly, 12 years. And to the point of when someone used to come around the swim, we used to fucking like bait. We did, we used to hide bait, honestly. It were, um, but it's it's out there now, so it's out there for everyone now. If you, don't, if you use it, you use it. If you don't use it, you don't use it. But if you don't use it, lose it. It's crazy, man, honestly, because it's killing it at the minute. But it is getting to call the weather now. So a lot of folks gone into these called the mums by me on their um, on bait over these over these last few months a lot of thought and a lot of research and a lot of talking to good anglers and good bait makers 
I'm not talking about everyday bait makers, I'm talking about big bait makers on Instagram and what have you. And I'm lucky, I don't know why they always get back to me. I think it's because I pester them that much, you know what I mean? Oh, they're interested in what I'm talking about. It's, uh, so a lot of them put me onto, onto stuff like it's uh, th this uh, liver. It's Shimano are doing one now called LG1, I think you call it. And it's, uh, it's an eye liver bait, but it's. it's um, Mark Holmes is doing pretty good on it. Liver's always been good bait in, in, in winter. <laughs> it's, I used to spot, I used to get liver from butchers. This is honest truth, this about seven or eight, eight probably longer, 10 years ago. I used to get liver from butchers. And he used to blitz it up into like a soup. And he used to mix it in with a um, sausage rusk when I worked at 100 meats. And we used to spot it out. And it, honestly, it was like chumming for sharks. People must have thought, what are they doing? But I'm telling you now, the results were absolutely devastating. And I don't care. Anymore. It was from a, from a place called... A, um, I don't know if you know Sheffield, Bramall Gold Rooms in Sheffield. Well, the owner of Bramall Gold Rooms, he, he were a, a big, I think it was a big scrap merchant, but anyway, and he's also got a lot to do with gold. Now, he, he bought a, um, two, two ponds, um, I forgot area in there, just through Barnsley, and I, I joined him. And within the first, first year of joining it, I had pretty much every big and out of the year, all, all, all on. Through the winter, it was on mainline cell, and then through uh, through the summer, it was on mainline cell, and then through the winter, it was over spotted liver and coconut rusk with a um, a piece of pepperoni and oak, and I killed it. So, don't ever think that a a a, a meaty bait will not fish well in winter because I'm telling you that. If you ain't tried liver, try it, guys. Honestly, it's not gonna be. This is not. I'm not doing this for you to buy this because I ain't selling it yet. It's not for sale. This liver bait, I'm not selling it. Not till winter's over, and I know how it goes. If it if it goes alright, then I'll sell it next winter. But this winter, it's a um, it, it's a um, it's getting used by me, and I'm putting a fair bit of it into tree. And now there's also there's a guy. I just mentioned this for a minute. There's a guy that's messaging me. Saying that it would, it would like to do a session on on treating women. That the thing that I can't get across to you enough is, is this. Uh, I think his name is Mark. Is I suffer really really bad with anxiety. Yeah, I may not come across across on on internet like I suffer bad with anxiety, but believe me, I suffer really really bad with anxiety. I ain't a people person at all. And, and and anyone that knows me well will will say that to you. I'm, I'm not a people person. Just to one sec. Right, then back to that. So, yeah, I'm not a people person at all, um, Mark. I think his name's Mark. I'm not a people person at all. So, uh, um, I will try and get down and I will try and have a chat to you and everything like that. But don't, don't take it wrong. It's nothing personally against you. It's just... Personally, against everyone, I don't know. It's, it's I've got a really bad anxiety problem, and, and around people, I get really anxious. And it, it's if you don't suffer from anxiety, you don't realize just the effect it has on you. It is to the point that I, I'd, I'd feel a right knobhead if I come down and I talk to you and, and I, I had a panic attack. You'd be thinking to me, Why are you panicking? There's nothing to panic about, but, but to me, there is. It's I, I panic. Panic about stuff. It's anxiety. I suffer with it badly. I suffer with depression badly. I don't. I don't hide the fact that I suffer with both of them things. To me, I talk. I talk about them to anyone, and I've had people approach me about that. I'm, I'm openly I talk talk about them. So it's nothing against you personally. I will try and get down to see you on treating. But as far as I'm concerned, I've done down there. And I'm after two fish now, and they're both commons. And he ain't coming for them yet. I'm coming for them after water meadow. But I will be down there, and when I'm down there, I will message you, and I will say I'm on now. And if I, if I'm on there, then and you come down and you're fishing and swim outside, and I will have a chat to you and everything. Yeah, it's def definitely. It's nothing against you, honestly, God, nothing against you. I will do a, do a. I fish Langworth a lot through winter. If you want to go on Langworth with me, then just message me. 
and they're, um, we'll sort we'll sort something out for Langworth. But you're better off on Langworth than you are on Treaton. Honestly, Treaton's a shallow pit. It's if you're going to hit Treaton, you want to be down here today, or, or or in the next 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 week or so. It, it's you you have it off big time down there. Honestly, whether you whether you're not going to get weather system like this in, in late autumn. Again, so get yourself on the bank and get out there and get them caught. I'm telling you now because this weather is unusual, or really unusual, and it's prime for big fish. So get yourself down there. But like I was saying, I will be treating um, once I've done the water meadow. But at the minute I'm done with it, but them two commons what I'm after, I'm wanting them at the big weights. And I know the big weights aren't going to come all December, so it's, and I know where they are. I've seen them twice. The buff over the bit I've been putting in, and every time I go down, I have a bag of this in the car all the time. Every time I go down, I after bag now. Nah, this time I wasn't. I was putting a full full one of these in twice a week on one spot to the point of when I flipped the lead out and pulled it back, it was silt. Then ding 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 They'd mullered it out, they'd mullered salt out of the salt. I, I, I was fishing a lot of salt, rock salt. That's another thing I do. I put a lot of rock salt in, but not not little bits of salt on my bait. I buy rock salt in blocks. I smash it up into small pieces and I spotted it out onto, onto the spots. Now, not a lot of it, just a bit of it around where I'm baiting. And uh, the, 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 the fish will dig an all that, that's a foot deep to, to get that every single last bit, most of that rock salt. Uh, at the right time of year, as far as I'm concerned, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it in that way. I'd still add salt, but not in that way through winter. No matter what anyone says, Malcolm's or anyone, I wouldn't do it through winter. I do not think it's good for them through winter. Honest to God, I really don't. Honest, I don't. It's a uh, now Malcolm's is a far better bait mind than me, and he knows far more than me when it comes to bait. So he 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 will know if it's good for him or not. But it's just a personal view on my part. And it, it, it's something I wouldn't do is I'd add a lot of rock salt through winter. But but through summer it fucking gets put in. It's uh, they, they love it, they love rock salt. But it's um I will I will definitely get onto that and I will try and do a um more than likely if if you if you wanted to do a, a session with me it would be on it would be online with it. You see I do, I do a, a lot of a um a lot of uh, a guiding with 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 friends, to fly fishing and, and for grayling and, and trout this time of year, and, and it's and, and I take them out. They, well, well, they 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 book me to to go out with them, and and I go out with them and and, and a lot of them are busy, busy, busy men, busy big. They've, they've got big businesses, so they're busy. So it's I take them to areas. That are, that are beautiful, where there's a lot of grayling, where they can fish for grayling either on the maggot, on the stick float, trotting, or most of them would fish for it on the flying nymph. And they absolutely love it. it it's, I've never had not, not one of them go away on happy, they've all been happy. And they catch large amounts, 30 plus grayling in a day, sometimes some big ones. Most of them are two pound, pound and a half. But, they, they love it. So I will get round to that way. And I have sent a link to you saying for you to send the email address again because I can't find it. I've looked. I can't find it. It's um, And I ain't putting my email address off because I'm getting, I'm getting stupid things now, comments on my post about God will save you and, and judgment day is coming and a load of fucking shit like that. It's, it's ridiculous. So I ain't putting my email up. On there, brother. Honestly, now, now, may open a, a a Facebook account. Even if you don't use Facebook, open a Facebook account. Join the format page. Send me a private message. I will get back to you straight away on Facebook. It's where I do most of my stuff. Or Instagram. Instagram. Private message me on Instagram because Instagram's the main one I go on. It's I just upload stuff to YouTube. So we'll see how we go. But watch out for these guys because I'm telling you now. I think I'm taking them instead of cables. Letters. Oh, oh, just one more thing. Just come today. Two days before I'm ready to go. My new Berkeley line is going on. It's
it's now. I have noticed one thing about Berkeley, the, the Berkeley big game, is that uh, it's something's changed with it. it. It's not doing it what it used to do. It it ain't, um, it's it seems to be twisting more and and get when you run your fingers down, it, it's getting like little. It's, I don't know whether something... And it ain't nothing to do with... And A couple of times I've played fish and they've, they've took me down shells and them shells have had uh, shell muscles on. Now, the only line I trust is Berkeley in that situation. It, it's as strong as a bull. Honest to God, even the £10 stuff is strong. And it's... I've had the big common. It took me that... On on, on Robert Valley, the, the big common, it took me... When I hooked it, I hooked it at about 60 yards. I hooked it at about 60 yards. The minute I hooked it, it came straight to the surface. Straight to the surface. And it did its typical thing that that big Tom Common always does. And that is the minute it sucks, it comes up in the levels. And then it, it kind of does all its thrashing about on top. And then it goes back down again. And then the, the fight on the fight is like no other on Robert Valley because it's deep. A simple reason of you're not going to get a fight like it anywhere else. It, it's um, with, 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 apart from crooks, that the, the the because the water is so deep, and it's sixty odd foot, forty odd foot. Those carp take you into that depths when you're fighting them. So your line is coming off the shallow area, and it's going down like that to to a uh, to sometimes forty odd. 50 odd foot of water sometimes deeper i've had them in deeper water than that i've, I've had them on zigs in deeper water out there now where this break is here your line's coming off that and it's rubbing up against that but what you don't realize is on this bit here that I've, I've waded out to this bit to this point and it's a muscle bed all the way around it i will land them i'll never ever know to be perfectly honest with you but the one line that has never let me down has always been berkeley and it's killed it for me. I love Berkeley line, it's a great line. I ain't one for no malaria. I, I will I will mention companies if they're um, if if they sell if they sell good stuff and Berkeley don't. So take it easy guys, yep. Yeah. Later.